Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Leeds United became the first promoted side, newly promoted side, to score three plus goals at their home of the champions since Hull City did it in 2008 versus Manchester United in a game which coincidentally they also lost for three. Uh, the newly promoted side led by the charismatic Marcelo Bielsa unfortunately for all their hard work could not count for not as they lost 4-3 uh, to Liverpool. Mohamed Salah set up a new Premier League record becoming uh, the first player since Wayne Rooney. Since scoring the last 35 uh, games, uh, Liverpool have not lost uh, when the Egyptian was on the score sheet. Wayne Rooney did that from 2008 to 2011, helping Manchester United win 34 consecutive times when he was on the score sheet. Welcome back uh, to Sahara Football. Today, we're going to talk about performances of Ghanaian players abroad, but not before we talk about the roundup of everything that happened across uh, the weekend. In the English Premier League, promoted Leeds United uh, showed us what we were in for this season. They were at the home of the champions Liverpool and gave them a run for their money. Unfortunately for them, it counted for nothing as a Mohamed Salah's hat-trick helped Liverpool beat Leeds United for uh, three. Arsenal went off to a flyer in the opening game of the season uh, with a 3-0 win over Fulham. A masterful display by William, who was named man of the match after three assists in the game after his switch from Chelsea. As if he had always been in this Arsenal side. Also, Leicester City beat West Bromwich Albion to get their campaign off to a good start. Jamie Vardy starting off from where he ended last season. Top goal scorer with two goals on the day, albeit from 12. Yes, none of the newly promoted sides were able uh, to get a win over the weekend. And Manchester United and Manchester City were given a lengthier period of rest because of their participation in European competition. So they were not in action. Jose Mourinho's goals with Tottenham Hotspurs continue. He lost on opening day for the first time in his managerial career against Everton, who gave debuts to three of their new signings. A masterful display by James Rodriguez, who Carlo Ancelotti was full of praise for at the end of the game. In the French league, there was a brawl getting to the end of the game, in which Neymar reportedly said that he was racially abused. He competed with the battle in Nuremberg, in which Portugal and Netherlands had a lot of red cards. That World Cup game in 2006. This game had five red cards and 12 yellow cards. PSG getting three red cards and Marseille getting a two red cards. It ended 1-0 in favor of Marseille. Going to be interesting how things move forward from there because now PSG are in the relegation zone after just a two French league uh, game. Italian Serie A has not started yet and it's yet to begin. Um, there were some friendlies ongoing. Juventus winning their latest friendly 5-0. The Eredivisie season began, but it was no debut uh, for Ghanaian player Kudus Mohamed. He was on the bench uh, for his Ajax side as they won 1-0 despite going a man down. Spain returned by Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid and the big boys were not in action because of their lengthier participation in European competition. So that was the roundup of everything that happened across uh, the weekend. And it was interesting to have football back once again. As usual, I'm going to look at performances of Ghanaian players abroad. And now, start off as usual from England and Fulham taking on Arsenal. Dennis Odoi was in action. He was on the receiving end of a hammering by the Gunners. It was 3 0 in favor of Arsenal as Dennis Odoi played the full 90 minutes of this encounter. Crystal Palace also took on Southampton and Jordan Ayew along with Jeffrey Schlupp were in action. Jordan playing the full 90 minutes of this encounter, Jeffrey Schlupp playing 81 minutes of the encounter. Rofet Zaha got the only goal for Crystal Palace as they beat Southampton 1-0. And Mohamed Salis unfortunately could not take part in this game. His coach has said that he is not yet much fit and maybe will join the action, the Premier League action, in October. 
West Ham took on Newcastle United and Christian Archie, despite impressing in preseason, playing all games in preseason, probably was coach was not satisfied with his performance in preseason. He could not make the Newcastle United side. It won, however, 2-0 versus West Ham at the London Stadium. West Bromwich Albion took on Leicester City in the early kickoff on Sunday. Uh, Jamie Vardy with a brace uh, from the sports. Daniel Lamate is being eased in slowly, and that's according uh, to coach of Leicester City, Brendan Rodgers. No need to rush him yet. He just came back from a lengthy spell out, and he will be eased in slowly. We'll be watching closely to see when he makes his first game in the Premier League in a long, long while. Derby County in the Championship, they took on Reading and it was a return to action for Ghanaian player Andy Yadom. Last season, he was out getting to the latter stages of uh, the season and his da Reading side beats Derby County 2-0. Preston North End, they took on Swansea City. Andrea, you had an amazing game as a Swansea side beat Preston North End 1-0 there. So in Spain, I move to next. Then Real Mallorca, RCD Mallorca, who have been relegated, were in action versus Real Vallecano. Idris Baba played the full 90 minutes as his Mallorca side lost 1-0 to Real Vallecano in their first game in the Segunda Division of us the La Liga. Aiba took on Celta Vigo in the La Liga and Joseph Edu played the entire 90 minutes, kept a clean sheet. His side, however, drew blanks with Aiba. It was 0-0 on that occasion. Turkey, I moved to Ness. Fatih Garak Murak took on Yeli Malatispor. They beat Yeli Malatispor 3-0. A free aqua was in the side, played the entirety of the 90 minutes. Traps on Sport took on Besiktas. Bernard Mesa was on target from 12 yards for his side with a penalty in the 64th minute. He played 81 minutes of this encounter. This is his debut for Besiktas in this game. Kale Bukuman playing for Trapsons for the opposite side played 78 minutes, his side losing 3-1 to Besiktas. And Karaguku welcomed Ghanaian new signing Joseph Painso who moved from Genk. They lost 1-2 to Azurum Spore um, Joseph Painto coming on in the 62nd minute to make his debut wasn't as impactful as they would have wanted. Netherlands I moved to next and Sparta Rotterdam took on Ajax. Kudus Mohamed was a bench warmer for this game. He didn't make his debut. However, his Ajax side were a man down in this encounter and a conservative approach from the coach I think is the reason why maybe he didn't bring on Kudus Mohamed. Uh, they however won 1-0 in this game against Sparta Rotterdam. China and Jansung Soneng, uh, they took on Guangzhou RNF. Uh, Wakasu Mubara came on in the 59th minute. In this 3 all thriller, uh, both teams sharing the spoils 3-3 uh, was the final score line in there. France and Lille took on Mets. John Boy captain this Mets side to a loss. Uh, they lost 1-0 to Lille in the French Liga. And set Etienne, they took on Strasbourg, beating Strasbourg 2-0. Majid Waris played 80 minutes of this encounter. In Germany, we had the DFB Pokal game and Engelstadt, they took on Fortuna Düsseldorf. Nana Ampoma came on in the 82nd minute, Kelvin Ofori coming on in the 78th minute for Fortuna Düsseldorf. So those are the performances of Ghanaian players in the opening weekend of the football in Europe and it was great to see football back. No fans have returned yet uh, and in the English Premier League uh, we hope uh, that the fans finally return but there are measures in place to get fans back into the stadium. But I'm not the only goal scorer Ghanaian over the weekend. It's sure to be an interesting season. Tonight Chelsea will be taking to the field against Brighton and Hove Albion with their new signings. We'll see how they fare on the night. It's going to be great to see all of them in action. Timo Werner, Hakim Zayech, Kai Havertz, Enko. It will be amazing to watch. I'll be following the Blues closely and be bringing you all the updates on that front. Manchester United, Manchester City fans, your teams will be in action next weekend. And that is it there. The opening weekend brought about a lot of interesting things. Football was back. Jose Mourinho and Spurs are still yet to find their identity and Liverpool continuing from where they left off, albeit 
with a really porous uh, defense. Mohamed Salah with a hat trick, many looking at him to be the highest uh, goal scorer. And the battle of Nuremberg part two uh, in the uh, Marseille uh, versus uh, PSG game, where five red cards were shown. What was the highlight? of the weekend for you in your period. Which games did you follow closely? Which Ghanaian players piqued your interest? Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Enjoy your day. Bye.